everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. Today is a very zen day. Do you want to make something fun and easy but is really pretty and a great thing to add to the old junk journal? Um, I'm taking some junk mail envelopes and just literally having some fun with them. And the whole idea behind these junk journal envelopes is that the decoration is very simple. It is also um, sourced by whatever is close to me at the moment, <laughs> which is the grand um, uh, dictator of everything. And uh, I was just, w which one was I actually goofing around with? Oh yeah, this one last night, I was opening some mail and uh, the bills are coming in. So the mail keeps coming in and the junk mail comes in with it. And I had all these envelopes and I thought, I just wanna make something with them. They're beautiful white and I happened to be going through all my scraps. I uh, had two big garbage bags full of scraps and I got through one bag. No, no, I didn't turn everything into magical, wonderful things. No, I just organized the scrap out of it. And um, so that led me to wanting to play with all the little scraps because now I can actually see what I got. Let me show you a little example of what I did with it. I'm always adventuring, trying to find new ways to store scraps. So I have these, uh, oh, let me back up a little so you can see, these long boxes. These are actually from Player Piano Scrolls and uh, they make perfect uh, little storage for these wedge, uh, these like long pieces that come off when we're trimming a journal. And uh, I just love those papers. And I realized I had a whole bunch of them in my garbage bag, but I could never find them because they were buried in all the other stuff. So they got pulled out. <clears throat> the other thing that got pulled out was uh, this big thing um, is just a uh, cover and I just turned it into a scrap holder, nothing fancy, but it holds my what I call blank scraps. So things like with, okay, there's a little writing there, but don't have to worry about that. Um, but a lot of blank things, a lot of the first pages of books, um, just, you know, like a lot of this stuff. And I love this paper. I'm just like in love with the first pages of books and the last pages of books of these old books. It's just so creamy and, and soft and velvety and wonderful. And um, I'm always thinking, oh, I've got to make stuff out of that. So anyway, it's time to put the pedal to the metal here and make some stuff with this. And uh, uh, focusing on the fun, what, how could it be fun? How could it get rid of some things that might end up in the landfill? And how could it just, it's a Friday. You know what I mean? It's a Friday. I just want to relax, unwind. Maybe you guys want to relax and unwind. The week is winding down. Um, let's just play and have some fun. Yeah. Okay. So the first one, <clears throat> zoom in a little bit. The first, oh, that's a little too close, huh? Okay. Sorry. Okay. The first one was created like this. Let me put my glasses on so I can even see what we're doing. Okay. Very simple design. This was a coffee dyed book page. If you've never just dyed regular book pages, you know, if you, if you like to gut books and um, then you have this giant text block on the inside, the signature blocks, um, go ahead and uh, immerse those in coffee dye water or food color or writ dye or watercolor or whatever it is you like to do. Let it soak it up and you're going to get the most beautiful uh, hand dyed paper. And uh, I, th I just think it can be used in so many wonderful ways. Like for example, one way to cover up the lovely address and it can make a faux address um, like that. I, I decided to keep this one stark white because I thought it would show up really nicely against a junk journal page. I use a lot of coffee dyed pages. So something white actually pops. And uh, so I decided to honor that, leave it, look, blah, 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 leave it looking like a, an envelope. But then I was going through some old journals and I had some uh, dried flowers that fell out of them. Some, when I say old journals, I mean old ledgers, like old 1800 and ni early 1900 ledgers. And people pressed flowers back then when, or somebody did at some point when they had the journal. And uh, I want to honor those little flowers. So I just stuck them on there. That's what I did. I just used some Fabrifix and stuck it on there. And then inside, what did I put? I took one of those uh, front pages of a book and I just put some stamps on it, fo just folded it so it would fit. And I'm using it as a uh, stationery, as uh, some vintage stationery. Somebody can write on this. I thought it was a nice thing to add to the uh, um, a junk journal in an envelope of sort. And uh, so it sort of honors today and yesterday at the same time. And then with the little window, you can use that as a peekaboo. 
Um, you could put whatever you like there. It could be stamps, it could be stickers, it could be digi kits, it could be pictures from books, or it could just could be uh, writing, it could be writing or music paper, um, all sorts of things. Um, I, I just started to decorate the back of this one and then some, probably dinner was ready and I left. <laughs> so that's as far as that one made it. But then I just sat down now and I started, I forgot I didn't finish the back of that one, but I, I sat down to make another one because yes, the, uh, the bills keep coming in. And uh, so this time I used some music paper in this corner. Um, I should tack that down a little bit. And uh, oh, yoo-hoo, I haven't used you in a while. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Okay, there we go. And uh, a little music paper. This is a little piece of uh, sari. And uh, I also had another piece of, uh, I don't know, it looks like uh, hayseed or, or wheat, probably hayseed. Um, and I just decided to glue that down with some Fabrifix. And inside of this one, I just had some pieces of journal, or old journal, old ledger. This one says lard and sugar on it, which I thought was kind of cool. So I just had, and vinegar and soap. That's neat, isn't it? raisins and currants and and barbary don't know what that is and uh bee meal barley meal maybe i don't know uh but anyway i just thought that was kind of a fun find for somebody to find inside this little thing i may put more things in it or may, may just leave it thin and simple maybe today is just thin and simple day Goodness gracious, something needs to be thin and simple around here, right? Um, sunshine, oh, we, I don't want to bring up the fried chicken you had at lunch. I know, I know, I know. And the pizza yesterday. I know, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> okay, so you want to hang out and uh, just uh, simply decorate some envelopes. Okay, so this looks like a return envelope. Nothing too fancy about it. Uh, but let's just see if we can do a play here with it. Um, oh, did I show you on this one? I stenciled the back of it. Just used two different colors. I thought that was kind. It was very easy to do. And it handled all that white area on the back. Just something fun. Very easy. So let's just knock out a bunch of these together. Go, I'll wait. Just go ahead and get your junk mail. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, maybe I'll dig in here and see what we have. Hmm. There's a piece of beet dyed paper, I believe this is, if I recall. Not 100% sure. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right. Or we could go like that. Hmm. I'm <clears> going <throat> try and do something different on this one. All right. Maybe work with a little bit of the, uh, the inks today. I'm feeling inky. All right. You come on over here. This is uh, black soot. Maybe that'll help it pop a little bit against the white. Yeah, it's kind of a cool little piece. So yeah, these little strips, if you have little bits of paper, they can be your friend. You can turn them into so many things and um, you could punch them, maybe make some hearts or flowers. You could tear them, you could fussy cut them, or you could just um, leave them as is. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll put that like that. Maybe I'll put this on top of that. That might be kind of cool. Let's see if I, what if I, what if I do you and, uh, and came back to his library. Oh, I love that. All right, that, that has to stay. Yeah, I don't know who he was, but he had to come back to his library. Oh, and blue velvet bag. Yeah, thank you very much. Totally cool. That'll make somebody think, All right? Make me think. I wonder what book that came from. Uh, does anybody know? Maybe somebody knows. If you know, put it down below. I, I forget. Got a few books around here, <laughs> so I'm not sure which one it came from. But uh, just in the art of the discovery. Oh, maybe put it on an angle. That might be cool. All right. So, yeah, we're just kind of going, you know, whatever whatever happens, happens. It's one of those days. And uh, I should call it Freedom Friday. Yeah, how about that? Freedom Friday. Make whatever you want. It doesn't have to follow any rules. Where's my glue? Okay, there's the big glue. But where's my... Where's my uh... I know it's here somewhere because... Oh, here it is. I got it. My Scotch Create glue stick. How did you know? Oh, I got my hair stuck in it. There's a surprise, huh? Um, okay, here we go. Crank that baby up. And, oh, goodness. Look, I was glue. No wonder I'm going bald. <laughs> it's all stuck in my glue. Oh, you get a little Pam with every journal. What can I say? Um, all right, let's just glue this on. Probably shouldn't glue right on that. That wouldn't make much sense, would it now? But sometimes we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, there we got that. Very good. Now, if I can just pick this paper up, I'm gonna put it on an angle, or should I put it straight across? Maybe down. Maybe down. 
Oh, oh, these big decisions in life. Sometimes they're hard to make. All right, here we go. Now we are just going to have at this and see where it takes us. We're not, uh, not being difficult with ourselves. We're just taking it as it comes, light and easy, slow and breezy, and we'll just build from here. Okay, we got that. It's got a pretty little pinkish thing going on there. <clears throat> and um, now let's see, I do have a, oh, we have more of this hay seed. I should probably use that up. I feel obligated to use it because it, I, it may have come from the 1800s. So I, I think, my gosh, somebody, somebody do something with that. Oh, that, that looks kind of pretty. I, mean, I could put it like that. That would be very nice. Okay, yep, here we go. Um, eh, eh. I'm getting this Fabrifix out. Okay, it's in my Sugar Bells icing piping bottle just to make it easier to get a thin stream. It's a it's clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And this is what the bottle looks like if you've never seen it. All right, let's put you here. There we go. Okay, so we're doing a lot of horizontal lineage. Yeah, now what are we going to do, Missy? Okay, so we have uh, some words. We have color. We have texture. Uh, and, and what else can we put on here? Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I have an idea. I have these little guys. See, I buried these guys before, and I couldn't. I, didn't, I forgot I had them. My little, my little peg stamps. I love my little peg stamps. All right, we're going to play with the peg stamps. All right, here we go. Hmm, let's see. How about, how about this little, this little guy, this little leaf? <clears throat> All right. Well, maybe we'll do a border or something like, oh, maybe we'll go around this thing. Oh, probably should have done it before. Oh, well, too late. Maybe we'll just do side border. Let's try that. <clears throat> side border, okay, we'll do the bottom borders here. I hear you, I hear you. Do the bottom, do the bottom. Don't forget about the bottom. Okay, I'm doing it. All right, should I, should I go above that? Yeah, just go around, make like a big circle. All right, who am I talking to? I don't know. <laughs> Sunny, answer, please. It's all right, Mom. Everybody understands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so we have that so far. Okay. Uh, you know, I just think that's kind of fun, right? Right? Okay, what else could we do? Let's, maybe we want to ink this up a little bit. Now we have pink, but that's not the pink ink I have. Not that that holds me back from anything, but... Maybe I'll go around in blue. <clears throat> I haven't played with the blue for a while. What blue is this? This is broken china. But any blue will do ya. You know what I mean? And then let's figure out which way this envelope opens. And then we can put something cool in the window. Or just leave the window like that. That's kind of cool too. Leave it uh, as an empty envelope for somebody to put something in. Or you could give them a little starter incentive and tuck something in there. I'm sure we have something around here we could tuck in there. I think I'm seeing something right now. <clears throat> now the thing that you tuck in, you could adhere it so it's it's like glued to the, like if you glue it around the outside and then stick it on the inside, um, then it'll be adhered. But it doesn't have to be. It could be something that comes out. And... Uh, so whatever you find interesting, I would say follow that, follow that pattern or that pathway. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Maybe I'll emphasize this little flap a bit. Yes. Broken china is really popping nicely against this white. I think that's pretty. All right. So I happen to have this sitting here. This is a piece of very old dictionary. And I love the caramel color and all that. So let's see if this fits in here. That might fit. Let's see if I can get some of the words to show. Come on, words. Work with me here. Work with me. All right, we're going in. There's one little flap. Okay, open up. All right, there we go. All right, everybody get in there. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, you know, I love it. Because the words hilarious and hilarity are showing. And hillbilly and hillium. Helium, no helium. Um, oh, hylum, sorry, not helium. Oh, I, I, even my glasses aren't working today. All right, that looks kind of cool because it's um, caramel colored and the, uh, the junk mail is white. So that's a nice pop. We got a nice little poparoo there. And what else do we see with our little eye? What's that? Oh, we have all sorts of little things around here. There are little things. All right. Um, do I want to? I feel like maybe I want a number. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go rummage in my number um, bucket. I haven't been playing in the number bucket for a while. I used to be in the number bucket all the time. What happened to me? I don't know. You go through phases, you know. 
I have this, this is my numbers collection. Maybe I have a few too many. Um, do you need that number, many numbers? No, no. But sometimes they're just fun to have the different styles, you know? Okay, so here we go. Let's put a number. Okay, here we put number. There, number 18. Oh, I have an idea. I have a classified stamp and I think it would look really cute on there. <clears throat> All right, come here, classified stamp. No, no, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do the classified stamp. I'm going to put some lace on it or so. Oh, I have some of this left over. Hang on. Yep. 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 I do. I was working with this material the other day. Let me put a little material on here. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I got to use this stuff up, right? Yeah. It, this was a bed sheet that I coffee dyed and the cotton bed sheets, they work really well. Okay, we we'll just do more collage. We could do that, but I want to save that back to the library. Let me make this smaller. With the great force of my hands, which is not working, um, I will now grab scissors. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do in the midst of it, in the throws. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I feel so strong. Okay, um, there we go. And it is frayed. The edge has frayed. Thank you very much. I could not think of that word for the life of me the other day. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. All right. But now we need some like lacy, lacy stuff. Let me see if I can find that. Over here, I'm digging, I'm digging. There's like a, hunt, a ton of it here. You think I could just pull out one piece? Okay, here's something. Let's see what I can do. No, I want, no, I want maybe cream because I'm going to go against the white. Oh, here's cream. Here. Would that look nice? Oh, that might look very pretty. All right, let's see what we're going to do with this. Maybe we need to do some layering. Let's, la oops, sorry. Not, not that organized very right here. Okay, let's layer. Let's layer it. Oh, that would look pretty, right? We could do a flap like that on the back. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, we could do that. Um, but we want to put some on the front, right? Oh, that's, oh, I might have enough to put on the front and the, the back flap. So let's try that. Put that like that. Actually, let me come in here and just really blue up this. See how fast you can color something with these? oxides that they happen it happens really fast that's very nice i like that okay here we go oh that's pretty that's pretty now it's got the blue background i like that all right now let me glue it on this way let me, whoop, grab the fabric fix here we go fabric fix come on here here doing your thing you're going to do some fabric to paper for us right now fabric fix there you go I'll close that use a finger tool smoosh it and that gets to your, to your edges and stuff very easily. You can use gloves if you want. Um, but you might get stuck if you're wearing a glove, but hey, that happens. Um, <clears throat> there we go. All right, now let's just cut this off to make it look like it was an end. I, am I still in the picture? Okay, come on. Yep. Boom, there we go. Ah, there. Okay, so now we have a very pretty little flap. Look at that, how cute that is. All right, so now we have this over here and I do have a little piece of this left <clears throat> and I'm gonna use it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna put it there. That's where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, right? But I wanna do something with this too. Do I wanna put that here? Let's cover up the lace though. Let's see, oh, that does it. It's so confusing sometimes. Um, yep, not sure. Not sure. Not sure where to take it. Oh, I could make a fake stamp out of that. That might be kind of cool. <clears throat> Let me try that. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm stronger than I think. Whew, yeah, I feel very, very uh, strong now. Let's see. Will that work? Yep. You're just a little long. You're a little long in the tooth. <laughs> I guess that means you're old. You're getting old. Okay. Um, thank you for all those answers. <laughs> all right. Here we go. And we have a faux stamp. Wait, I think it needs to be emphasized a little bit. Let's make it a little bit inkier. Inkier. Maybe I should just drag it right through the, the, the ink thing on the edges. Just giving it a little pop. A little popper doodle. Maybe I could even put a, a little stamp. You know, you think I've got a million stamps. You know, is one close by? No, not, not in the least. They're way over there, for gosh sakes. I'll just work with what I have. <laughs> Sometimes that's more fun. Okay, here we go. Because today's easy and breezy. All right, there, we got that. How's that? Oh, yeah, that really stands out. Okay. Uh, Fabrifix. Uh, now we're going to 
Now we don't want that to go through our material, so we'll just smoosh it right away, and that thins it out, and hopefully nothing will show through if we're lucky. Smoosh that down. Okay. Now, now, what am I going to do with you? Maybe I should just use one. I could just use one. I don't have to use two circles. I could use one. Okay. Let me try and separate you. I know you're twins, and you've been together since birth. It's too late. You're, you're separate now. Go your own way. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, it's just kind of nice to escape in the papers today. I hope you're having some fun. I hope you're playing. Um, there's so many of us around the world that love to play with uh, paper. So here we are. Oh, look at you hanging out there. What are you doing? Nothing? Maybe you want to come and play. Oh, that's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah? All right. Maybe we even want to put you here and hide that number. And I could renumber somewhere else. That's very pretty. I like that. Or, or, maybe I could do that. How about that? That's outstanding, isn't it? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we'll make this pop a little bit. And we'll make it like a, a flap. A flap knob. How about that? A flap. Somebody needs to come up with some names for this stiff. A flap handle. It's a flap tab. There you go. I have now making a flap tab. Yeah, that's right. Don't do that every day. All right, here we go. There, it's a flap tab. All right. <clears throat> Paper fix. You're back in. Yep, yep, you know it. You gotta get over here and do your work. All right. Okay, there we go. Flap tab in place. And then this on here. Okay, that'll work. All right, let's put down some more of this stuff. I think hot glue would work as well, too, if you have hot glue. Gosh, I've got a giant drawer of hot glue and I, I think I've got one or two hot glue guns and I never use them and I, I keep thinking you know I should I should pull those out and just try and at least use it all up you know what I mean that would be awesome no, let's put you on straight oh no where are you going don't be moving on me no I gotta get you there that's the hand hammer that's what that is yes all right there we go now we have our flap that's working well we can do something here too. That would be very pretty. Maybe we'll do some stenciling there. How about that? I'll show you the stencil I used. I have no idea where I got my stencils. Um, I do buy most of them on eBay. If you go uh, click on, uh, like if you know like a type of stencil that you want, or you can just put in the word stencil or stencils or stencil set, and then click um, lowest price first, and you'll get these packs of like they come in packs of tens or fives or something like that. And they're not very expensive. I mean, sometimes you can get them for a dollar. So, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get here, but they will get here. And uh, I've even seen some for or like almost next to nothing. Um, so make sure you check that out if you're looking for stencils. All right. So here. Oh, this is probably my favorite stencil brush. Where are you? Here you are. It is a makeup, it's a paddle brush, a makeup paddle brush. And I have a link to this in my Etsy shop, or not my Etsy shop, sorry, my um, Amazon shop. But you can find these in most stores like Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. But that's a very densely packed brush. I cross pollinate all the time with this. But um, it's just wonderful to stencil with. It really is. <laughs> I, I don't know how to emphasize that enough, but I'm really emphasizing that because it just makes it so easy. I'm not a super exact stenciler. You could probably be a lot better at it, but I kind of like the uh, randomness of like sort of good, you know what I mean? As opposed to absolutely perfect. Um, and it's a lot easier to do, let me tell you, because then you're, you're, you're like done. And that's just so pretty, isn't it pretty? And uh, yeah, you can kind of darken up the edges if you want a little bit. Give a little bit more enhancement. It's enhance, enhance. And uh, you could just go ahead and make these all day long. You know what I mean? Just one after another. Um, if you've got junk mail or if you've got bills, um, like most of us do, then this is a fun way to, uh, to deal with that. Let's maybe put that 18 here. Give him a little surprise 18. What were you thinking, right? Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Think about 18. Um, so yeah. I mean, just grab what you have. Some, if you have clothing that has decoration on it, like lacy stuff, and you don't wear the clothing anymore, 
borrow, steal, rob from your clothing, your clothing, your sister's clothing, your husband's clothing. Okay, maybe he doesn't have a lot of lace. Maybe he does. Who knows? Um, you know, or uh, yourself. And, you know, just cut it off and use it in your creations because um, why not, right? It's a great resource. All right. Let me just ink this up a little bit more. I don't know. I just want to make it a little darker, a little more distressed, a little more, you know, it came from another time. Yeah, I'm getting that Victorian feeling about this one. Yes, this is probably from Priscilla, you know, going to Alphonse or something like that. And uh, do we need something there or do we leave it in neutral? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. I've already stamped. I've already put a number. I've got color. I've got a, a faux stamp. What am I going to do? i got to do something. I feel like I want something. I got a, a little, okay, that's all right. Maybe I need to have a counter uh, counterbalance because I have this and I could put that there. That might, that might make me feel a lot better. Do I want to layer it on there? I could do that or I could go like this. Let's do that. Ah, that's all right. Or I could put it over here and just be very geometric and, you know, that way about it over here. Maybe there. Or I could go on an angle. Put it right there. That's kind of nice. I like that. Let me see if I ink it up. Maybe I shouldn't ink it up. I'm going to ink it up. All right, here goes. Maybe I should just drag it through the ink pad. Let's see what happens when I do that. Does it work? Is it better? Yeah, different. Okay. Looks like my fingers. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that definitely looks like my fingers. Well, you know, it could be a different look. Hey, you don't see that every day. There's a new look. Polka dots. Yeah. All right, I'm going back to this thing soften it up my finger marks it's fraying so nicely i'm so excited about it <laughs> it really is it's very it's very nicely frayed you can see it yeah it's really nicely frayed something about cotton muslin boy you can't you can't lose you know in the craft world you just you can't lose all right let's put that on there and oh come on okay there we go low stress friday freedom friday yep there we go. Freedom Friday. Just permission to play. Permission to play granted. Yeah, just goof goof off and uh, be brave. Be bold. Do things you wouldn't normally do. There you go. At least in the realm of paper, paper play. All right, there we go. And there we go. Actually, I think that's really pretty. It kind of looks like that old world cameo kind of look sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Brown? Okay, why not? <clears throat> and you could certainly load a lot of other things in here. Let's see what I could do. I could probably put a little piece of music paper in it, and that would be nice. Somebody to find some dictionary and some music paper. And then maybe they'll go forth and create something with that. And, that might be, and this will fit perfectly. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Yeah, maybe they'll be inspired to sing a little song. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're going to leave, leave that there and tuck you in here. And there you go. There you go, folks. So pretty easy. You know, all right. No, I'm pulling out the big guns. Everybody step aside. You know what's coming. Yep, here it is. Yep, okay. The stickles. Yep, they're coming out. The stickles and the nouveau drops. And I just, I don't know. I got to take it up a level. I, I just, I got to take it up a level. All right, because why not? I'm here and playing. I'm having fun. All right, so, all right. Want to use the, uh, this is always a fun one, copper. Copper stickles takes forever to dry, but hey, it's pretty. <laughs> All right, now where to put the accents? This is this is the critical. You guys are running around. Okay, this is where to put the accents. Let's see. This will make it or break it. I could do them inside here and make a little square, or I could go around, but that'll kind of run into that. <sighs> All right. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I don't know why this is, I just, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it. I think it will pop very nicely against the white. So I'm going to go for putting it on the white background. Let me bring it in a little closer so you can see. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, it's a little too close. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And let's go. Whoop. Oh, see, that didn't take long. I was going to smudge that. Oh, look at that. Stay there. Okay. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to, I got to do something here. For some reason, it seems barren, like barren wasteland here and I need to fill it with something and sometimes you just got to stickle it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And we could keep going. 
<laughs> as you know. Okay, here we go. We're going to go around this guy. Yeah, let's just do it because that might be fun. I could have gone around the 18 too. That would have been cool. Didn't think about that till I had already started. That's okay. There are more envelopes, Pam. You're, you have no shortage of bills. So fear not. Fear not, dear sister. Just craft on. Okay. And uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Now, oh, maybe I want to put some at the end of these just because that's there. So this is my accent of everything. And I think we have to do something on here just to pull it all together. Maybe I'm over stickling, but hey, it's just paper. And I think it'll show up nicely on the pink. Yeah, it does. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna follow this crazy little torn line of this paper and pop it on there. Yeah, let's see what that looks like now. Oh, that's kind of pretty, huh? Got a little bit of Christmas vibe going on here with the sparklies. And, uh, you know, hey, as a crafter, um, it's already fall. Even though it's uh, July, it's fall for us because we need to start making our holiday goodies. And this is where we start. Let me, I feel like I want to do something to these leaves. Like maybe the top leaf needs a dollop. Maybe the, this is too much. Maybe I've gone overboard. Maybe I should have stopped. Maybe I can't stop. Maybe that's my problem. Oh, well, there we go. We've got more on it. And uh, yeah, yeah. All right, here, I think I want to, I think I want to, yep, I'm, I'm doing something with this one. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm going to do an X. I don't know. I just, oh, yeah, I just did a diagonal. Maybe I'll just do a diagonal. Maybe I'll do a diagonal on this too. How far am I going to go? You know, once you get this little bottle in your hand, it's hard to stop. It's hard to put down. Let me tell you, you can just keep going. Um, but there you go. Now, we all know what has to happen. This has to be put aside and left to dry. And for some reason, the stickles, I would say, I would say it will probably one to two hours it'll be dry, but I would just put it aside and forget about it till tomorrow. And that way you'll really be safe because... You know, when you're in the craft room and you're moving things around, things like, like to slide on top of each other. So we did this guy. Let me back up so you can see what we made. Did this guy with a pretty little flap. Okay. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, messing everything up. Uh, 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 okay, there we go. And uh, we did this little guy. And we already had this little guy. Can you see all those? Almost. Uh, uh, I know, I know. Well, it's just, it's just the way it goes. It's only paper. Relax, everybody. <laughs> All right, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. You want to tackle some junk mail, and if you've got scraps around or, or just little colored things that you want to play with, like inks or stickles or stuff like that, pull out your gelatos or watercolor and splash some stuff on them. Oh, watercolor, that would be fun, too, on envelopes. We should do that sometime. Somebody write that down. Sunny, you got that? I got it, Mom. Mom? Yes. Um, come here. You want to say hi to everybody? All right, here we go. Here, here comes. Oh, he's like, oh, he's so comfy. I'm really glad you guys are here. It's not my best look. I don't, I don't know why my mom doesn't help me with my hair. <laughs> oh, we actually did. We, we trimmed your, your little face and eye hair. Um, but for some reason, when you're zoomed in that close, things look very interesting. Um, anyway, folks, I hope you had fun. Um, just some simple, easy crafting today. Um, enough, nice, lovely, lazy Friday. And uh, um, if uh, uh, welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome if you're new to paper crafting or junk journal making. And there's a whole world of fun for you here. And there's a whole world of fabulous instructors here on YouTube and other places. You can find them and source them. There, uh, learn from as many people as you can because you're going to pick up a little tidbit um, from everybody. So I highly encourage that. There's some amazing people out there. And the more of us that are making junk journals and, and uh, show our junk journals and and share our junk journals and sell our junk journals and make junk journal videos, the more the world knows about the whole concept and the process. And I think that uh, it's a wonderful thing to learn how to make a book. So um, if you'd like to dive into that world, you, you're in the right place. <laughs> and uh, so my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts, which are audio, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's new material different from the videos. It's all focused on junk journals and paper crafting and life of a crafter and that type of thing. I answer, um, 
a lot of the questions I get on the uh, podcast for, from the YouTube channel because uh, I can bulk answer them. So if you're looking for some answers, you might find some there. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter, which uh, you get a free digital Im image emailed to you each month that you can uh, download and print out and, and use in your junk journals. And um, I have a uh, Paper Outpost Facebook group. Come and join that. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as just seeing what you make from these videos. I love to see your ideas and I get so inspired by all of you and uh, or if you're lo looking for some inspiration or even if you just want to lurk you're welcome to come and do that so make sure you answer the four questions and then uh, make sure you click to agree to the rules and then I think you're automatically registered at that point so it's pretty easy to join jump on over and uh, come join us and have some fun and I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for some of the um, commonly used tools my favorite tools and supplies I try to put everything in there if when I use it um, if I'm missing anything, let me know and I'll pop it in there. But um, it's a nice generalized place for you to look for stuff. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And all the links are located for everything in the drop down box below my video. So if you're looking for that, and if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the notification bell. And remember that fun can be simple and create with, create with reckless zen today on your friday <laughs> take care everybody have a great day bye bye